This week on the Cooler Cast, Michael J. Fox is really good at that reactive comedy. Do you think yeah. that reactive comedy was actually just his Parkinson's early on? Oh, <laughs> I'm dude. a bad person. I'm a bad person. You're, you're, you're a horrible human being. Geez. You're the kind of human being that we need to go back in time and fix. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this uh, second week's, or how do we, how is the double week called? Bi-weekly. Oh, Bi-weekly. Yeah. Bi-weekly. Yeah. This There's that father brain for you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everyone to this uh, bi-weekly podcast, Cooler Cast. Uh, this is your host, Father of Riddles. And this is Fyro to his left. This is GLUX247. And this is Professor Leviathan. And I have a sack of, uh, a potato sack of riddles on my knee, so in case you hear anything... That's her. It's our special guest. She's that cute. Uh, <laughs> potato sack of riddles. <laughs> she weighs as much as a potato sack now, man. Man, they, they only get heavier from here. Yeah. Yeah. Just so you know. No, when they stretch out, they actually get a little lighter. Yeah. I think it's because their weight gets distributed. They're not as evenly. dense. Yeah, they're <laughs> dense. Gotta work she, on right that upper she, body strength. Right now, she weighs what I imagine Keebler's uh, turd weighs. In Futurama. <laughs> oh. oh, snap. <laughs> that, that's how it works. Right that's, now. Heavy, bro. That, that's heavy, bro. That's heavy. That anti-matter. She's, she's, heavy. she's a big that's girl. Heavy. She's a hey, big girl. You know what else is heavy? Back to the Future. Oh, yeah. Uh, or Great Scott, you're right. To the past. Oh, yeah. From here on, from everything here that on happened in that now. movie is in the past. Back to the past future. Yep. Days of future past. Say, so, hey, we got to celebrate Back to the Future Day. Finally, we've only been waiting 30 years. But. 30 years. Well, I mean, we're not even... I'm not even 30 yet. Yeah. I was I was four when it came out, so oh I was Oh my gosh, around. I'm 31. Ew. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, Are you really the second youngest? Yeah, uh, I'm 28. And you're well, the today he's time. the third youngest, because it's Sack of Riddles over there. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel old. <laughs> Actually, I'll be 29 at the end of this year. Yeah, um, I know I, I'm a little late to the celebration, but um, on Tuesday, my wife and I saw the first movie, mm-hmm. and we wanted to see on Wednesday, mm-hmm. we wanted to see the second movie, but I don't know, I don't even remember what happened. I think we knocked out early. Oh. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> such a married couple. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't understand. Oh, married couple. That's you, what happened, uh, man. you don't understand. I felt sick. I don't. I felt earlier. Uh, I felt earlier. I felt sick earlier this week. And now I'm finally, you know, recovering from, from it. No, I didn't get sick, sick, like, because we got sack of riddles here. And yeah. you know, she's, she's perfectly safe. She's fine. I ain't, yeah. I ain't no. sick now, <laughs> but I felt I felt I felt weak. Bodies. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I actually I actually did get super sick. Like, yeah, two you weeks did ago for the last oh, cast. Jeez, I was there for the last cast, and afterwards, the, the the there was a canceled cast, and afterwards I went to Taco Bell because someone thought no, not Taco no, Bell. No, you didn't I went go to, to Taco Jack Bell. Bell. You went to Jack in the Box. Of course you got. Oh, well, you I went to Jack in the Box in the seedy seedy part of town, and, and in that cast <laughs> that you're talking about. We were dissing Jack in the Box like crazy. Yeah, it had and then, the worst and, then and for some reason, G and you decided, like, and you were like, "We'll never go to Jack in the Box ever." And what did you do later that night? Immediately to Jack in the Box, <laughs> and I was like, "G, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to Jack in the Box or talk?" And he was like, "Let's go to Jack because it's right there." It was right there. And wh- where, which Jack do you want to go to? Let's go to the seediest, dirtiest Jack we can go to. And then we went, and four days later, I was barely recovering. Yeah, but you got free fries though. Oh so yeah, even, it wasn't worth it. it <laughs> I so lost those it. fries immediately, <laughs> as well as like everything else in as my well system. The next three days of your life. <laughs> yeah, that, that's I, horrible, horrible choice of you. You, you were supposed to be his I friend. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's why I wasn't in the last cast. I was dying. I wanted to go to, to um, Taco Bell today, but um, then I remembered. It's like, I'm going to eat wings tonight, so mm. forget that. I thought about it, and then I was like, nah, I'm going to go across town. You didn't bring any for your friends? 
I thought I was going to eat wings tonight. The sun's still out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> no. And um, so tonight we're going to watch the second movie. Okay. With so, wings. Yeah. With wings. I think uh, we've been watching we've been watching uh, one and two on and off. On, I think it's been running on like the Sci-Fi Channel or probably or yeah. FX, or, or, FX or something or FX or something. Someone's it's been, on, it's it. been on TV. We've been watching it on and off on TV. So. And, and you know what? Uh, earlier today, we were we we're um, Gilux was mentioning that that movie is essentially holy. Should not be touched. There should not be a sequel. Oh, never ever. Even part three was a little sketchy. Was it? Part three was a little sketchy. I haven't. I don't you know remember. What? I can never. I can never oh, remember part three. That was in the, the, the when Western. they're in the wild, the western one, right? Yeah, it was, it was a bit. It was. A bit I don't remember sketchy. much of it. I know I've seen it. I know I've seen it, but I can never remember it. She's like the best one. It was too on the nose. I feel like like it was like that. The, okay, clearly like somehow all their descendants look exactly like them, and they're all from the same town still, and they all hate each other still. It's like no one moved away, no one did anything. It's it's like come on, and then it's oh god, it was just too. Like let's 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 tie up ends that don't exist. Do you see where we live? Where there's so many descendants of so many descendants who had the same families, who had the same feuds, who still don't get along. Dude, it's parallel to real life in the area I that thought, we live in. <laughs> I thought I was the only rare one with the last name, right? But, but then here I find out when my sister has the was same making, last name as you. No, no, no. What? No. Wow. What? Holy cow! <laughs> I, here I thought no, it's because she got married. The Anyways, the revelations. No, 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 no. My sister did a, a uh, you know, she did that family tree thing, oh, yeah. and she went deep down all the way to where we were like Aztecs or something. We come from Aztec you descent. Were an Aztec. Yeah, dude. Was, believe it, right? You're probably an Aztec yeah, that too. Thing but real. Real. but look, but at, get no, this. We were Spanish. We're oh, that's real. No, 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 no. Actually, we're, we're Italian. But get, but, Italian. but get this. Hey. My last name. Was actually adopted from one of my great 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 fathers back way back when yeah. to a last name that's common in this area. So there you go. So for all I know, I may be related to a Garcia. You are a Garcia. Yeah. I am probably a Garcia somewhere. Ooh, wow, Garcia. And dude, like eighty percent of the people in this city are Garcia. Garcia, Garza, Gonzalez. Yeah. Yeah. yeah too many the, G's. The, the three G's. Mm-hmm. I, I'm like, my God! I thought I was like different. No. no, I'm not. No. no, you're just like, like everyone else. Y'all look the same. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> all y'all look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no. Um, so yeah, sorry. Back to um, uh, <laughs> back to Back to the Future. Back to Wait, back. I want to get to the name thing real quick. <laughs> What's I, that? I actually, I, I'm Mayan or Aztec too. So maybe we're like mm, for all we know. Yeah, for for she she also mentioned that we were like. From the like the royalty line of the Aztecs. So for all I know, okay, those pyramids over there. Mm. No, 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 no. She's yeah, saying it. No. She's saying it. She found mm-hmm. it. Of she has she the would proof. say that. She would want to be royalty. She I'm she a princess. princess. Every girl's dream to be a princess. She's the princess. You know? <laughs> but you know who is a princess? I don't know. For all I know, like, like I said, I may know that for the, the pyramids over there. Yeah. Probably mine. <laughs> and those are my pyramids. Probably. Wouldn't be surprised. Frank was here. That's it's about to get washed away. Property in this of Frank. Anyway, so don't really oh, and you know, you know the name of the hurricane? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it would be, it would be named after your wife. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, oh. she's lovely. And it's <laughs> like it's the worst hurricane ever recorded in. Supposedly, ever. that's what they're yeah, saying. It's yeah. the biggest worst in the Western Hemisphere. So, yeah. Yeah. man, I, I, I really fine. feel bad for them. It's all good. We'll uh, take, we'll uh, take the rain. Okay. Yeah. Hope yeah. that be good. You know, my grandma didn't know Spanish. She, she came down from the Sierra Mountains. My dad. Dad's mom, she came down from the Sierra Mountains speaking the native tongue, and she had to learn Spanish. So it's not her first; it wasn't her first language. Oh, Interesting. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Sorry. Back to the so, back to back to the future. yeah. Back can't, to Back to the Future. Can't touch this. Um, movie. no, you can't touch the movie. Uh, apparently, but um, what I wanted to know is like we, earlier before the cast, we watched the the what was it? Who who, who was that? Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy Kimmel. Talk show? Yeah. Jimmy yeah. Yeah, and, and um, <sighs> I kind of thought it was a little corny. Well, it was, it was uh, very, I guess it was meant to be corny. It I was think. nice seeing them together and yeah. doing the skit. That was, I'm pretty sure 
because it like Jimmy Kimmel tapes a lot, so it was like towards yeah. the end of the night. So I'm pretty sure that um, Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox spent probably the entire day right. yeah. doing yeah. all sorts of different events, showing up as Marty and Marty oh, and no, Doc yeah. Brown. I know, and they're probably tired of it already. Because like you, you could you could tell, yeah. you know, Christopher Lloyd's trying to remember the line, trying to get the delivery down. He's huffing and puffing, yeah. but he's also come out in a couple other several um, different videos and things yeah. within the past couple of weeks. So you could tell he was just like he's 77 years old at this point. It's not that he can't keep a step, but he's just not feeling that much energy yeah. left in the day. Yeah, he's done. He's but done. I mean, it was cool. It was cool seeing it. I just wish it wasn't on Jimmy Kimmel Live. I wish yeah. it was on. It should have been tonight with Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, I really wish it was on. Fallon. I mean, the, it, the whole cast has been on like four or five different things this week. Mm-hmm. Like at least one or two things a day. Like I think they were on Good Morning America that morning too. They were so, on like, the Today were, Show. They had I know jumped that. from there to the Today to somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember you, uh, Levi, uh, wanted to suggest something uh, that if the movie was actually accurate to what shows. Oh, Talking yeah. Talking about the cross st- comparisons. Yeah. And so actually predicted. 30 years ago, happened. they thought hoverboards and flying cars and the Cubs. The Cubs. Um, well, they got the Cubs right. They got yeah. close. Yeah. Unless but- it was all planned or staged. I'm just saying. Oh. Hmm. This, this is not beyond the realm of possibility. Well, well, yeah. being cowboys. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Acqu- according hey, to, hey, according hey. to, according <laughs> to, <laughs> according to quote unquote sports ball analysis, the Cubs have been playing actually pretty good the past couple of years. So it's it's plausible that they've gained the reputation to get to the playoffs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not like it just came out of nowhere from terrible season to terrible to season to terrible season to hey we're heading to the World Series. So well, not even then they got clean sweep. They're out. They uh, lost four games in over? a row. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Uh, uh, Mets beat them. Mets. Stinking Mets. I hate the Mets. But yeah, that was the worst because the, the prophecy, as we're going to call it, um, from Back to the Future was that they were going to clean sweep someone else. And but it turns didn't. out they got a clean sweep before <laughs> they even made it. Yeah. It's the only thing they had going right for the movie and they went and got, got oh, beat. Oh, Jaws 19. Do you see the trailer for Jaws 19? Jaws 19 trailer. <laughs> First it was all business, then it was all pleasure. And then they went to Russia with Shar- what was it? Shark Sharkovsky? Uh Sharkovsky. Sharkovsky. Oh, wow. It's like a it's like a 4 minute long trailer talking about all the different Jaws movies leading up to Jaws 19 because in Back to the Future when 20, 2015 the 3D shark that came out was he was outside the theater for Jaws 19. Oh, which, gotcha. At the time, it made sense. Like, well, yeah, I mean, they've been putting out so many Jaws movies. Why wouldn't they just keep at doing the movies and, you know, for the next 30 years to Jaws 19? And then, well, you know, Jaws 4 happened. And Do you remember uh, there was that, that clip that they showed? At, I guess they said it was at the end of the uh, 22 Jump Street movie where they showed 23, 24, 28, 29, 30 something Jump Street. Where they jump from like regular school to ballerina school to military school to Catholic school. It's terrible. They, they they do these things and when they, they can joke about what their sequels are gonna be like, oh god, it's always amazing. So yeah, Jaws Jaws nineteen trailer is worth a watch if if you can watch it. It was pretty good. Uh, I got I could put it on my list to to watch. Right now I finally caught up with everything, so uh, I was um I spent the I spent the weekend last weekend leading up to Back to the Future Day. Watching a long play of the Telltale game, Back to the oh, Future. Yeah. It's actually really good. And then yeah. now for the Back to the Future uh, 30th anniversary, mm-hmm. they're re-releasing the game on Xbox One and PS4 because it came out on the 360 and PC mm-hmm. and um, the PS3. And they went and they've got um, Thomas Wilson Jr., the kid, the actor who played Biff, right. to voice all the characters for the Tannen family. Because the the whole premise yeah. for the um, the game is it's set in 1986. So it's like six months after the movie, and the, um, the the city is selling off Doc Brown's estate and his things and whatnot. Uh-huh. So Marty and his dad are out there at the sale, and then the DeLorean just shows up, and so he goes outside to check out Doc, and it's Einstein's in the car, and Doc left him a message. He's like, "If you're reading, the, if you're getting this message, then the time retrieval system I put in place." has come to pick you up because I'm in trouble. I need you to come back and get me. And so you're trying to figure out where he is. Then you go jump back into the past. It's like set in 1931 mm-hmm. during the era of the Prohibition in, in Hill Valley. Mm-hmm. Um, the Tannen character is a, is a mob boss, the Tannen family. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, like, it's like, all pretty good. They have Christopher Lloyd like playing as Doc and Brown. And um, they didn't get 
um, Michael J. Fox to play Marty. They got a really good sound alike, though. Just like listen to the whole yeah. thing. He sounds like Marty's character. And then in the last chapter of the game, Michael J. Fox does come out as a as a um, an ancestor, and oh, then nice. also as a future version of himself as well. Wow. <laughs> I was like, this game is really legit. It has all the beats that you would expect yeah. from the movie, all the plot lines, some really good twists that you don't see coming. So then when it happens, you're like, oh, this is oh, but really. And it's like uh, five chapters long, and, and if you yeah, know, if, yeah, if you know how to get through the game, you can get through the series in about like an hour and a half each. So it gives you about nine, ten hours of gameplay, yeah. and it's really pretty good. Like I'm actually, even though I've seen it, I am kind of leaning towards wanting to pick it up, yeah, for myself because it was really good. Yeah, Telltale usually does a really good job of storytelling with that medium that they that they have. And Aww. right now they makes me really want to get Minecraft story mode. I haven't oh, got me yet. I was and... going to, but I completely forgot and I ran out of money. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Right now I may have a chance to, but I'm, I'm I need to pay off stuff first. Uh, gosh. Well, one of the things that Michael J. Fox noted about 2015, which I think we can all agree is that 2015 sucks. 2015 yeah. sucks. 2015 does suck. The slogan, my personal slogan for 2015 was 2015 times are hard. Because <laughs> 2015, I mean, yeah. entertainment wise, has been pretty good, but pretty much everywhere else around the board so, yeah. is but you not know what? been the best. You know when? Out, what other time that uh, entertainment was great, but everything else kind of sucked during the rule of Caesar, <laughs> <laughs> the Colosseum. <laughs> okay. Wow. They had, they had the Colosseum, and everything was yeah. Great. That's way back. Then. Everything was great. I guess if, in, I, I guess everything wise. was great. Yeah. Entertainment wise, unless you were in the entertainment, you know, <laughs> unless you were yeah, unless you were down in the pit of the Colosseum <laughs> and Caesar standing up there turning his thumb down on you, then things aren't so. High. Yeah. Now this is this is the thought that came across my mind: is what if twenty this twenty fifteen sucks because Marty McFly uh, messed everything up by uh, going. Back to the Future and fixing the almanac. And fixing the almanac with Biff. Maybe, what if Biff was that? What if he invented the hoverboard what if and he the flying was the cars? Ho- flying cars and hoverboards got invented. I don't know. I think somehow Ooh, Biff, Biff still wound up getting the almanac because of that. That twenty, that that eight, <laughs> 1985 kind of looks like our twenty fifteen right yeah. now. <laughs> so yeah, that, I mean, we got so much junk going on uh, this year, but hey. Gas is below. Yeah, $2. gas is down. Dude, I yeah, saw no, gas I saw for that, right. a I... buck eighty nine on the way over here. Buck eighty four. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, you're right. Buck eighty four. Buck eighty four. Yeah, my gosh. And which is which is kind of the reason why I double back to Myth Adventures to get your to get your uh, comics so I could because like fill up. get gas down. Hey, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. It we'll go pick it bad. up up here. Go pick it up. I'm, I'm making mileage, so might as well go back and get them. Mm. So you, I picked up uh, Invader Zim for you. How's that going? You know what? I read the first issue, and then I've been in this weird space right now where Destiny's kind of taken over everything, but yeah. I don't want to <laughs> fall behind, so I've been buying issues, but then coming home and like, oh, I could do this thing in Destiny today, so I'm going to do that, and then spend the day playing Destiny instead of reading the issue. So I've, <laughs> I've got everything, and I'm caught up to date, but I'm like, well, I've been reading Mega Man on the Way Home, from from work, but I'm I'm have all four issues of Invader Zim, but I'm behind on yeah. three because I've only read the first one, and um, I'm kind of a little bit behind on the Halo current story arc that they're running, which has been spoiled because the first issue or the first chapter of Halo Five kind of tells me what's going to happen in the comics. I'm like, well, yeah. thanks a lot for that. That's true. Ugh. I haven't seen any of that though, but because like, well, I don't want to get overly excited. I haven't played any Halo games since a while, and I'm right now selling everything I've got, <coughs> all of my games, gotta everything. Get that, gotta get that PS4. Gotta man. get that PS4. You I've, must join us. Battlefront is coming. Battlefront I've never, I've never coming. had a problem with that though. I've never had a problem with knowing an ending, like and having that ruin it for me. If yeah, anything, this guy over here, he like I was talking to him a couple weeks ago about Heavy Rain. He goes to Wikipedia, reads the synopsis, and now he's like, okay. He's like, you want me to tell you what happens? I'm like, no, I'm watching it. Somebody play. I want to be engaged. He's like, yeah, I know, but it's like, what if you're thinking? It's wrong. I'm like, well, thank you for, for, yeah, for, putting, you kind thank of... you for putting that seed of doubt in my mind. <laughs> well, maybe, and you know what? Maybe that'll build the hype for it. Oh, no, I, know. I, I finished it great. I hope yeah. they make, like, I hope they work on making 
a sequel, not necessarily with those characters, but the yeah. same kind of like beats and stuff. With the only thing that makes it a sequel is just the number, yeah. like different scenario, but the, that level of gameplay and the interactivity was really good. Uh, I got, I and that game was pretty. The fact like, that they waited until the PS4 technology was there, until they had the technology to do it was a okay yeah hey, i remember when halo 4 came out we were all playing it, it g-lux had a hard time getting get, getting to through the story and so when um the rest of us finished it mm-hmm. we were just talking about it and we were like yeah cortana dies g-lux hasn't gotten to that point yet because <laughs> when i first started playing i did I, I didn't play just a normal mode i always play on heroic first yeah uh, any game and so I got stuck in this one encounter where I just couldn't get through. The Promethean Knights were just way too many in this one section. Oh, the one in the forest? And I got a bad, I got a bad checkpoint. Yeah, the one in the forest. Yeah. Where you gotta hold off the doors until the doors open. So I was stuck on that oh, level. And yeah. I don't and do normal. I went straight up legendary. <laughs> and I only had limited ammo. I couldn't, mo- I died con- continuously. And the game would refuse to take me further back. And that was that was at, that was at a point when Halo mm-hmm. Four came out. I was kind of like on the download of getting through that game because it's like certain reasons. Like I only play at certain times of the day because I had so much stuff going on, mm-hmm. so I didn't have a lot of opportunity to practice. So they just mm-hmm. everybody else just like seared past me. Yeah. So I'm mm-hmm. still stuck on that point. And then in, in casual conversation, like oh, Cartana died. You I'm know, like, well, that kind of that kind of reminded me of a story <laughs> that somebody told us. Which was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god. I Somebody was told us a story. This. Story yeah. time. Yeah, no. Uh, we're going to tell you who told us a story because as soon as we mention who it is, you're going to already know what the story is. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure what you know the story is. Cause... It was your sister who uh-huh. told us a story about you <laughs> deciding to take a spanking over, <laughs> over, <laughs> over your dad's head. <laughs> he gave you an ultimatum <laughs> and you, you chose the beating. He gave you a choice take the beating, you was right which was random at any time he wanted or he would take away your video games like the slap bet just that any random let, let him tell the story let him tell okay the story. so i i see that the story has I been I, ha- I wish i had your sister here I, you know what i, I should call I, her up i see that the story, story has been slightly augmented over time just like the fish tail <laughs> the, 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 the deal the original deal was i either take my three beatings one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one at night, that mm-hmm. day, or the next oh. following day, or take a random beating for a week straight. <laughs> so you hear... Wait, the what is the video game involved? There were, that's the thing. There was no video game involved. This this was just the ultimatum. Oh. It was like the fourth time I had gotten grounded or something or, yeah. or something like that. And it was like, okay, I'm going to beat you three times in one day, starting tomorrow, or I'm going to beat you once at a random time. And they're looking at me like, take three beatings take the three beatings take the three beatings yeah. i'm like why would i take three beatings i'm like i would rather just take one beating than just like get it over with so <laughs> i took the one beating for seven days man <laughs> <laughs> this better than a video game man that the hype, the was, he got ferocious bk is a devious evil genius does he did he do the hand thing it. that my dad does let me let me let me lay it out so i've got seven beatings coming right yeah. Wait, one you day, have one each day? Uh, one each day. One, oh, I week. thought it was just one beating at a random no. time. And one see, beating. And see, he could have just got it all in one day, three beatings. So he got four extra beatings. That's less beatings, what? bro. But yeah, but it's it's damage it, over time, right? More dots, more dots, more dots. It's BPS, beats per second. <laughs> Even more dots. So I got seven days. I can remember that I got beat once in the morning as a wake up. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like he came in the morning sun bam 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 <laughs> beating right there um we're outside playing football and right before he starts to play hold on guys ready to come here got the beating then <laughs> right in front of your friends yeah right in front of my friends yeah, wait right how old were you how old were you uh, 24 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna say 9 10 yeah, oh said, 9 yeah, 10 okay yeah, yeah, 10? she, she said she was bad. she was young yeah it was like, it was like between 9 and 10 cause it was still when I was in um Connecticut Connecticut Lyme disease so, um, I got a beating during dinner. Like, we're sitting there talking, eating, make a spoonful, raise it to my mouth, and boy, put, the, put that spoon down. Come here. Right over the table, beat me there. And then I had to suck it up and keep eating. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, d- during study, like, we're having family study. It's my turn to read. Before I read the paragraph, before you read that, 
Come here. What? <laughs> Take my beating. Then suck it up and read. <laughs> read paragraph 12. Um, we had a, I remember we had the a, paragraph um, well. A, we had a gathering at the house that weekend. And then in front of everybody, got a beating right there. One, I don't remember what happened, but the seven ones is the worst one. He let me go the entire day. Without getting a beating, no threat of a beating, no. I'm, I'm looking at him, nothing's coming. It's like no so then, signs, no nothing. So You're then, looking for for signs. You're yeah, I'm like, I'm like, like you know, I'm, were you the, hoping to probably the, the dodge it? Or I'm something? probably almost sweating, right? And I'm like, it's not gonna happen. It's not. And I'm sitting there in the back of my head, going, he, he didn't remember. He didn't remember. It's 11:30 at I, night I, or what? I, I can go to bed. He didn't remember. It's like 10 ish. I was only like nine, so I can stay up that late. So I go upstairs. I go to bed. Now, from the rest of it is what I hear from other people. Apparently my sister asked my dad, you can let him go to bed without getting beaten? He's like, oh, I didn't forget. He's just been sweating worrying about it all day. Don't worry, I'm going to give him that beating. Fashion. You know, Jeez. right? Like, dude, that's like, you show up to school and you're the only person that did the homework and nobody else in the class did it and then you're reminding the teacher, man, but Mr. Linger, what about the homework assignment you assigned us? That's, that's how my sister was that night. Uh, he waited 20 minutes. I was asleep. You were out. <laughs> and then he came up and beat you. You were happy. Like, you were happy. <laughs> that was the worst decision of beating strings I ever got in my life. It was probably he waited till like eleven fifty eight so that way it was still the day. It was still the same day. I told you'd get it today. I didn't say what time. Right? Like 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 if a time machine did exist, I would go back in time to that point and say, just take the three beatings, man. Your life will be way better. <laughs> just, 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 <laughs> trust you, your sister was right. Your sister was right. And then I fade away. Just remember, she was right. <laughs> Great Scott G. You must remember. Oh, man. Just the three. <laughs> Oh I still God. can't believe you chose the three. Well, the seven. Uh, I mean, we, I mean, kids are dumb, right? So when oh. we're little, we think, oh, okay, well, three immediately, or one, and then later one, and then you, you think beatings aren't so bad because you're like you because if you've gotten enough beatings, like I've gotten enough beatings, you're like I can't handle a beating a day. Mm-hmm. But then, oh, yeah. then he gets in the mind, you know, that psychological stuff, which you know, BK is really good. At. Yeah, there, no, <laughs> well, holy cow, that man. reminds me of my dad because my dad is like that too. I don't know what what you guys attributed to you but for me it's like that's real rasa right there my dad is like old school mexican and so for him it's like and he does this thing where he'll look at you and you'll he'll, he'll look and he'll, he'll give you a look like like you know i'm gonna hit you right and, 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 I, and then i'm like oh no i'm scared i'm scared and then you know you're not messed up thing. boy he'll do this thing and you can tell he, he he's mad at you like he's you're, you're about to get it. he gives you the look like be you're about about at this very moment and then he he goes to touch his head, like to fix his hair, but he does it as quickly as he can, so it's a quick, huh! and then slowly brushes his hair back. And so he does that, it makes you flinch, and then you get it worse for flinching. Oh, that's the, that's wow. dirty. Wow. Flinching. That's <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, and don't don't put your hand behind your. No, don't, don't your block. Butt. Don't, don't go block. for the block because you'll catch the legs. And the legs oh, are the worst. Block. When mm-hmm. you go for the block, that's when the combo starts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's when you get bodied. <laughs> the combo breaker. <laughs> the block breaker's the worst. <laughs> Lockout. Oh my gosh. Speaking of combos, which is that's that's great. Good job. We um the Street Fighter Five beta that we were talking about last podcast finally launched. So hey, we can play Street Fighter Five this weekend. Huzzah! Huzzah! It's only got yeah. five characters on it. Um, it's got Ken, uh, Rashid, the new guy from the Misha. Middle East, of uh, the Turbulent Wind, Vega. Armika and Nakali. And Nakali got switched back from he started off as an input character, it's like he does his dragon punch with a down four four down to changing into a charge character because they thought that was too OP to changing it back to a position character because they're yeah. like, Well he has an anti air. It's kinda hard to do an anti air with a charge character unless you're like playing Guile. And even then, if you're playing Guile, you know what he's gonna do it because he's just sitting there ducking, yeah, not moving. It's like they want Nakali to be more aggressive, so they changed it back to input characters. So I was like, okay. I'm just going to say this. I, I grew up playing Street Fighter 2. That was literally one of the three games that I had. And I played it constantly. Constantly. That's how I learned the Konami code. Mm-hmm. But lately, after like f- three or four, I don't know. I'm like. Four was actually pretty good. Four was actually pretty good. Wait, Which is the one that came out for the 360? Four. Four. four? 
That one was like, okay, I was playing it, but I got I really I really really liked the the new character. And I talk about him all the time every time we do a podcast. Hakan. Yeah. yeah. He was one of the new characters. Oh, I loved Hakan. He was hilarious to play with. That oily son of mama. Yeah. <laughs> but that see, oily I, Turkish. I can't do fighting games. I, I, I just can't. I, they're just button smashing for me. Oh. And, no, and, and, and I see people play, the ones that know how to play, and good lord, I don't know how they can like calculate all that stuff. The, the fighting oh, game the is a combos? very high pedigree caliber. Like You either mm-hmm. have to be fully committed or... Or you had to have been casually playing throughout, you know, the entirety of your gaming career to yeah. really understand. Like, like, like there is me, no in between. I casually play fighting games, so I played a wide range, but I've never gotten too deep into some systems. Yeah. So I'm pretty decent at four. Like, I, like me and uh, Frittles would go back and forth, and for the majority of matches, I would just, I was, we would get close, we, we and then I would start, and then I would start ganking them, and then he would just like. And then yeah, I, would, I would just, and then I would, no, and then I would just start changing characters because I'm like, okay, I understand your fighting style, so I can understand the to counteract the fighting yeah. style. I picked up the beta for five, and I'm like, man, I can't play this game. The things from four, four to, to five, the transition is just so different. I'm like this is a wholly different Street Fighter. It's crazy. Here's the thing: between three and four, I played three and I liked it. I could play it. That third strike. Yeah, but see, here's the thing: between three and four. I played Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Ah, uh, you got you got soiled by the quick inputs. <laughs> yeah. The quick inputs and the three player thing. I can't I can't play with just one player. I and like even Tekken, I can't play anything other than Tekken Tag cuz it's two player. Yeah. The, yeah, it's two players. The, the, the one game fighting game I had a lot of success on actually winning was Dead or Alive. That was oh, the okay. only that okay. was the only no, game no. I actually was fairly good at but the, I'm just Counting the people I used to play with back in high school, Susie would be proud. <laughs> Killer Instinct, nobody oh, can beat yeah. anyone else. Four gore. Uh, I can take you at work at. Nah. The, wait, wait, nah. hold on. Killer Instinct, nah. that was the one with the 40, skeleton. Forty-eight hit combo, skeleton. son. Full, no, full gore was the the, mechanical the robot, robot with the Wolverine. No, no, claws. but I'm saying that 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 was the game. It had like yeah, with the skeleton, yeah, and the and raptors cinder. and everything. Yeah, yeah. Raptor, spinal. Yeah. Spinal. Yeah. Yeah. There was one cinder. Yeah, um, there was one fighting game where you were like fighters, like it looked like Street Fighter, but you can transform into animal versions. Dude, bloody roar! Bloody man. roar! Oh my, oh my awesome. god, bloody roar! Oh, that was a great game. That game is bloody the roar best. too. Was Blo- so... Blo- bloody roar, Primal Fury on the GameCube. Okay, the best. The beetle version. guy. Oh yeah, the beetle stun, guy. Stun the beetle. Yeah. yeah, and he could just. I think he could fly too. Was that? Yeah. That was it? Yeah. But my brother always played as the cat, the cat one that didn't Here transform all the way. <laughs> I like she didn't her. transform all the way. Like what the heck? Like because what happened was in the first game she's the main boss and she's like this crazy chimera thing. But after then getting beat in the first game, she kind of like depowered a lot to where she only gets a half transformation. Aww. And then she gets trained under Shenlong the tiger. The, so his move set is a lot like, or her move set is a lot like his. Yeah. And then you had the tiger, you had the wolf, and then at one point you had the the lion guy. He was a blonde guy. Yeah. Uh, clearly, and his, and his daughter was the the, the tigress or no, the lioness chick. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. was a fun beast arizer. That is they call it in Europe, bloody which is a, a way cooler name. The mummy, like, like they, the need, they need to make another bloody war game. Come they on, do. guys, bring that back. Yeah. That, that dude, that, that would sell. That would sell super hot. I was pretty good at Soul Calibur, also. Soul Cal two. Yeah, you know, Soul Cal two. Was pretty I good. only ever played. I played Soul Calibur for a, a, a completely an entirety of two hours. Uh-huh. While there was a like there was a game. I mean, not a game. There was a um, an electronic store. At the mall, and they had it there, and it let you play that. Yes, Circuit City, that was it. And so there was like four TV set up, and you could you could play this game and like a couple others. And they were showing it like they had just come out with HD movies, and they kept showing Sex in the City on one of those movies. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Circuit City <laughs> known for doing that. Yeah, <laughs> that was a, I was like, okay, this is a big stream. Let me just play my video games. And Iron Man had just come out. Yes, Iron Man had just come out too, and so I was there playing, and I played for like two hours because there was like two controllers, and that that it was like a, you could play for free. So all the parents shopped, and all right. the kids were just sitting there right. playing video games, and that that's the only time I've ever played Soul Calibur. Ah, man! And I was like, I, I was beating everyone like yeah. who showed up because I was like, this just seems a little too easy. Yeah, man, Soul don't... Calibur was kind of one of those button mashing type it, of games. Like if you knew combos, you knew combos. Yeah. But if you didn't know combos, you just run in and just mash a. My hardest. To master all of Ivy's combos, 
And not just because it was Ivy. Yeah, Ivy's. Yeah. <laughs> not just because yeah. it was Ivy. Yeah. But, but it's she hard, had, like, guys. It's I, hard. She legitimately <laughs> had the one of the coolest. combos. D, 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 double D, double D. Oh, man. No. She had legitimately one of the coolest weapons, okay? That was the sword. The sword weapon was cool. Yeah, she had two rockets. The soul whip, eh? Yeah, the sword whip was pretty slick. But speaking but speaking of uh, fighters, I just saw a clip of a uh, a new fighting game, and it had Saniko Chan. And you know who that is, right, Frank? Because you listen to anime music and ah, uh, gosh, uh, no. Saniko Chan is is, is a is a um, why you got to peg him like that, like. Like a vocal? Well, like he's a like, vocal oh, one? yeah, yeah. Clearly he knows. She's kind no, of like a vocal. No, well, she has. well, I would know because I but know some artists. Anime. She has her own anime as well. I, I know oh. some artists. I don't, I'm not familiar with everyone. Okay. Maybe, maybe I got... I might have heard maybe it. Maybe I got too excited about it because uh. I, I watched the anime and I listened to some of her music. So I was like, oh, maybe Frank knows this, who I'm talking about too. Well, oh well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> put it on your to-do list. All right. I, I, have, I have so many... Uh, I have about 30 animes on my watch list that I have not finished watching. I had a, um, what, what was that? My brother's trying to get me to watch One it was... Punch Man, and I just can't do it. We, You know, we should do that together. We just uh, yeah, knock that out and, I guess so. and One Punch it's Man. Three episodes. There's three episodes up right now. Yeah. But yeah. anyways, uh, Sonic chan she's, she's just, uh, I think she's a guitar player, uh, and she really loves cats. So in this fighter, she's literally throwing cats at you as her moves. It is oh, like, well, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the coolest thing I have ever seen. She, I mean, all of her punches, her light punches and medium punches, she's just throwing cats at you <clears throat> one way or the other, and then she can call in her band teammates to come in for combos and stuff like that. I thought it was pretty cool. That reminds me I, one I of can't the remember the name of the game, but I have to show it to you later. I think reminds me one of the characters from Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah. I forget, the girl with the robot, Tron, mm. I think, or something? Yeah, Tron yeah, Bond. Tron, the... Tron Bond, yeah, she's just throwing stuff at you. Oh, man, yeah, Tron Bond's... That game, or Legends Con was, uh, Cable was OP. K- yeah, Cable That's was OP. That's what I was going to buy. I just remembered, yeah. When you mentioned Trombon, Mega Man Legends is now on PS Vita. Nice. That's right, yeah, that's right. You can play it. I can play I it. I can't play it, but I you can, can play it. Yes. You can support the Legends franchise and yes. hopefully bring it back. Yes. Bring, bring it back. It's Let Capcom know this is what we want. Please. That's Something. Know, Why can't you play it? Because... Uh, it's coming on the PS Network Store, but the PS Network Store handles the PlayStation Classics. That function isn't available on the PS4. It's available on PS3 and the Vita. The PS4 doesn't have that section of the store. So I can buy it, but I don't have anything to play it on. Uh, yeah. the, from what I, my understanding is because it, it does, it's not backwards compatible. It's not that it's not backwards compatible. Does the PS4 doesn't have that whole section of that PS3 era, ex, ex, uh, section of the store. Like, the PS3 has, like, the PlayStation Classics, and you can, you know, buy stuff that they put up there from PS2. You can play games from PS3, and you can play stuff from PS4. The PlayStation 4, or no, PS1. The PlayStation 4 doesn't have that PlayStation Classics section in the store yet. That's like um, the Wii U. Yeah. The Wii has the Virtual Console, and the Wii U has its version of the Virtual Console, but those games haven't migrated because the operating system is different. So they're slowly moving the Wii Virtual Console games onto Wii I U read, because the emulation is different. You yeah, can no, actually change the buttons and it has in-game I had menus read, and stuff. I had read, though, that there's some games that don't make it to the Wii U or vice versa because of the resolution. Right. That's what's different. Yeah, because everything that's displayed on the screen in the Virtual Console has to be able to be displayed on the tablet. So if it can't be displayed on the tablet because the tablet has a different, a slightly different resolution than your screen will, then they can't put it on. So some GBA titles don't make it because they can't be displayed on the tablet, that kind of thing. Okay. And some uh, Super Nintendo games can't be displayed because they don't show up on the tablet. That, couldn't they just play it in, in Aspect that way? You would think, but I don't know if the the, the tablet has the ability to, to compress the Aspect uh, ratio, like put those black borders on the side, yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I figured they would, they would do something because I, I know... Uh, when I was emulating on my old phone back when I used to do that, I don't do that anymore. Right, because we're not pirates. <laughs> we're not. Our cool cast is not condoned. Well, pirating someone wanted to cut off my foot. <laughs> well, that's totally Cause you, unrelated, but because you need to get some HMO one, son. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! 
But it used to the aspect. It, my uh, my phone would do aspect, so I could fit the GBA games in there. Yeah. So. Because of like raw emulation, you can just do whatever. Yeah. But if you take raw emula- if you take emulation and put it into a platform, it becomes less flexible. Mm. Yeah. So that's like all the the virtual console that's on the Wii U version now is way better than the virtual console that was on the Wii because it's actually a rebuilt. So they can they have customizable controls, they have save states, you can yeah. pause and come back. If you don't like the B button being where it is, just move it. Yeah. All the games have an in game manual that you can just pop and bring up. Which okay. is pretty nice. Speaking I remember of oh, sorry. the Wii. Um all this information that's been coming out or like patents about, you know, building a platform with no C D drive and an mm-hmm. extra display and stuff. People start to speculate that whatever this NX is, it's gonna be a combination of both console and a held and held platform. Yeah. Which Nintendo still isn't saying they're talking about until twenty sixteen. But the odds are more than likely that they're working on some sort of cross breedable platform system. Yeah. Which is which is nice because then you can take your your smaller handheld games, but if they run with the same architecture, if it does really well, you can just build a console version of it without having to do too much work. They did verify that they're gonna put the like latest technology into the system so it's not gonna come out of the gate being behind like the Wii U was. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna and they're coming up with technology that's more compatible with PS four and and, our, and uh, Xbox One. So cross compatibility is less of an issue. Cause that was one of the other major problems of PS4 and the, the Xbox One share the same um uh what's that little chip thing called? Processor drive. Processor. Oh, processor. But the we use it's from Intel but it's a completely different chip, so they have mm-hmm. to rebuild the entire game if they want to port it, and that costs money. Yeah. Especially if you know that people aren't gonna buy it because they're already gonna play it on a PS4 because of better graphics yeah. or whatever. So they're trying to they're trying to stay competitive at least. But they'll still hold out on their on their games because you know their games are awesome like Zelda when it shows up <laughs> when it's Sadly. eventually but 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 it's that that yeah, HD yeah, yeah. that HD Twilight Princess yeah. might show up yeah oh, oh. oh my goodness and you have to I admit that, game. that was it, good that was good the weight's not as bad as it is with like Mighty Number no. 9 or something oh well <clears throat> apparently Mighty Number no. 9 is not gonna get pushed back any further it's coming in February next year they say I have to get my PC done before then. I, I it has just, to be done. Your build, or but, you yeah, because my yourself. laptop can't handle it. It's so slow. Yeah, just get yourself a PS4, <laughs> you think that's and then bad. you can stream straight to YouTube. That's well, true. I'm getting a PC copy. Yeah, this is true. <clears throat> okay, just real so quick. Buy a PC, PS4 copy also. Yeah, double up, bro. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> 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 use my money to <laughs> No, yeah, man, because money. Your love around, son. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so well, the, anyways, if. Supposedly, I read somewhere that if they're doing pretty well, that uh, Inafune was up to doing a sequel for Mighty Number no. Nine. Well, of course, it's going to be a sequel. <laughs> I mean, well, don't say of course it's going to be a sequel. Yeah, we still at this point. That's why we got Mega Man Legends. At this <laughs> point, the way it's going, we really got to let the game prove on its own merit now. Yeah, because a lot of people are super sour to the point where, like, if I can take back my money. I would take back my money. A lot of people have been saying that. The demo came out, and a lot of people have been saying, you know, the demo doesn't look that great. I hate yeah. the voice acting, the this, the that. And so, I mean, we'll see just if it's salty about I something. mean, no, no, it's not that I want to be salty. I really no, hope no, that not it you works. Them. Yeah, well, the other people. I mean, I hope the game goes off for the sake of game's sake, but I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, it comes out to a, a, a mediocre response. Yeah. Which would really hurt Inafune in the long run because I hate to see him go down because yeah, of stuff I mean, uh, because of lack out, of foresight. Yeah. He's one of the few uh, Western or Eastern developers that's actually decided to come out and reach out to Kickstarter because before him they hadn't done it. Yeah. The guy who's working on um, Bloodstain, the original um, I- Igarashi, mm-hmm. he's working on um, Bloodstain. He was the, um, the originator for the Castlevania Symphony of the Night series. Mm-hmm. His Kickstarter hadn't come out yet, and the Funa was one of the first Eastern ones to do it because they just didn't do it. So I'd hate to see all the, the lack of foresight from stuff that he didn't anticipate come to hurt him in the long run, and yeah. him not be able to move forward with people taking a chance on his on, on his product anymore, which yeah. would be really sad. Because like Igarashi was able to you know look from 
what happened with in the funny situation and so like the kickstarter for bloodstain was like very transparent this is what we're doing this is what we want to shoot for we have no intention of this unless we hit a certain mark so we're not going to start production on that we have no plan on doing this oh we've hit this mark do you guys want us to do this anyway okay now we're going to start working on doing this so there's yeah. no like you know backlog stuff no i put a kickstarter up the kickstarter is going to fail i went and i grabbed a uh you know, a publisher because I had to talk with some guy at E3 and now they're just going to fund us. So never mind the Kickstarter that, that it's, yeah. it's, it seems like it's shady. It's all very, a series of fortunate incidences that's backfiring. I'm in a public eye. Yeah. And it's, well, it's bad. February will be here real quick. I, I need some jump and shoot, man. I don't care how I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 the little bit I was able to get to play at, I felt enjoy it. like I would have enjoyed it if my laptop would actually keep up with it because it looks fun it looked colorful it looked mm-hmm. action packed to me mm-hmm. and uh, I I personally believe that it'll make it I, I just really hope that people's bias isn't because mm-hmm. they think this is going to be uh, an exact Mega Man clone because no. most of the ones I think that are 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 making the backlash are these people that are expecting Mighty Number no. Nine to be Mega Man? No, but it's means. not Mega Man. It's it's a new IP. It's in the similar vein as Mega Man, but it's it's on its own merit. But we just have to wait till February to see what happens. Yeah, I, I know people are going to be like, "This is this, this is trying to be Mega Man. It's trying to be Mega Man. It's not Mega Man." I mean, like, no, it's not Mega Man. Yeah, that's the it's point. Mighty. It's Mighty. Right. <laughs> I mean, it has. I mean, of course, it has its you know traditions, and you can tell it has a succession from Mega Man. Yeah. But it's got to be its own franchise and Call. its own merit, so it can't <laughs> it can't be exact exactly the same thing. But you know, build build on from a formula that that you know works, and then experiment with that formula going forward. Yeah. Well, personally, for myself, I'm looking forward to my number nine, mm-hmm. and I'm hoping that Capcom is taking steps to lead to a Mega Man Legends three because I've been waiting that, and I'm still waiting for it. I I haven't given up. I'm still waiting for it. Yeah. And, and yeah, I know I'm not how alone. Been, how long have we been waiting for Mega Man Legends 3? Is it, has it been Over long? 10 been years. 13 years, dog. 13 years? 13 years. I, I, I do believe you know, that when <laughs> they were working... I know, right? When they were working on the Mega Man Legends 3, on the yeah. development team, um, I believe that was 10 years. That was a 10-year yeah. mark. Uh, and I got the 3DS specifically... For the demo. Yep. If I could have afforded it, I would have too, but I didn't have the money at the time. And... So I had the whole time until... I believe it was Mario Kart 7 or Star Fox. Um, I didn't have... Yeah, Star Fox. I I wasn't... My 3DS was just sitting there gathering dust. Because there was no Mega Man Legends. Waiting. Waiting. Forever waiting. Hoping to be used. And it and never it, was. It did, but then it didn't. Yeah. My my dad wants to get a um PlayStation or no, an Xbox specifically for his favorite game franchise, Ace Combat. <laughs> Dude, oh, Ace, Ace Combat okay. is fun. If, no, if I, I kid you not. Ace Combat, I've played every single game because when he plays it, after he plays it the whole thing about ten times and he unlocks everything and then plays it another ten times, like then he'll let us play it. Oh wow! And, and <laughs> no, y'all just sit back and watch. I mean, hey, and he'll correct us. He'll be like, "No, no, you slow down. No, like he, he, he's no, a backseat not, pilot. No, not a backseat pilot. Oh, no, no. no. And so I'm, I'm, I'm selling my Xbox. <laughs> I've played. I've played. Well, it, it, I think it's for the one or something. Yeah. But um, mm-hmm. like they, he he keeps up with that. Like he'll keep up with Ace Combat news. Like, like every, like we keep up with everything else. That's the one thing he'll keep up with. Yeah. And so he 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 played Air Combat on the PlayStation, and yeah. then he played mm-hmm. Ace Combat, and then Ace Combat two, Dude, I had three, this one four. Favorite plane for Ace Combat. It was I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was so futuristic. Mm-hmm. It, it was it, it had like I think it reminded me really of the of the um, what's it called the X Wing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think Might have been that called? 22 or 23. I don't remember what it was, but it had like the wings just like in angles and it fired so many missiles. Mm. <laughs> I was like, I feel so powered. Yeah. See, he, the thing about my dad is he doesn't obsess over things except for fighter jets. <laughs> like he can tell you, like he's heard fighter jets. We're doing something and we're outside and he hears a jet, a jet. going and he can tell you what kind it is. 
just by nice. hearing it, just by the sound it makes breaking through the air. And it's just, it's the, like, he'll tell me, and, like, something will come up, and it'll come up on, like, a show or something. He'll be like, oh, that's a this, it's a this airplane. It's a F, this, F-22, F-23. And it's actually interesting because they changed it. it. It's actually supposed to go like this. The engine actually does this and that. And it actually has the capability to do this. And I'm like, wow, you're a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, if, you're gonna, if you're going to be a nerd, it's cool to be a nerd with yeah. my aircraft. Yeah. Aircraft, swing, aircraft swing nerdery is cool. Is, Swing for Greatness is dead is the same way. Yeah. That guy has so many uh, model planes in his house. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, I, I, always... remember, I remember I always used to keep up with Need for Speed. Mm-hmm. Because ever since I, I played at Need for Speed Underground, I had a lot of fun. Part 1 or Part 2? Then No, no, no. no. Then I played Underground 2. Mm. And I was like, oh, this is the best thing ever. And like open world and everything. Mm-hmm. And then they made, um, what was it? Need for Speed Most Wanted. Mm, with the cops the first time with the cops i was like this is great actually no hot pursuit way back when was was with the cops number three yeah need for speed three hot pursuit yeah but then uh we were playing online that Uh, was need for speed world world World. yeah and that was a combination that was a combination i think they sent me an email like a a while ago it's like please come back i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised yeah no need for speed world had a great concept i loved it because it had the world of uh of most wanted it had carbon and it had it had some other town i can't remember but it had three of them my older brother worked at babbage's when carbon came out and he said it sold it didn't sell that well Carbon's, at all oh carbon no, was bad carbon was not good carbon yeah. was bad and then they made they remade most wanted and it was pretty much an arcade type uh, no no i didn't like it also not great also okay. not great stuck with the first most wanted which oh. was the best one in my opinion mm-hmm. actually People a debate between that one and Undercover. Undercover was great because the world was three times as large. Mm. It was it, it took about maybe five to ten minutes to go all around. Nice. In high speed. It was great. I loved it. It was called the like the tri tri city area. area. Oh, yeah. Okay. The tri-state uh-huh. area. <laughs> I know. <laughs> there was actually Super Spurs Incorporated. <laughs> and there was actually a, a. I saw there was a scene in one of the episodes where he's dating Phineas and Ferb's mom, and they're sitting in the car, and he's like, "So what do you dream about?" And she's like, "Oh, I want to be maybe the ruler of the world." And she's like, "Okay, that's cool, but maybe you should just start small. Maybe you should start with the tri-state area, like something smaller, <laughs> like the tri-state area first. And he was like, huh, I never thought about it that way. And, and so that that's why he's always trying to dominate the tri-state area, because Ferb, Ferb? Which one's the triangle head? Uh, Phineas mom. Phineas, Phineas. Phineas is, is, mom told him to do that. I remember that episode when they were, like, in the teenage years. And then everything that. was like, wait a minute, Doofenshmirtz's head is triangle, Phineas's uh-huh. head is triangle, uh-huh. huh, <laughs> Da, 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 da. That makes a lot of sense. We're, that actually makes we're a lot not of going down that geometry. Geometry. Hole. Yeah. Geometry, oh, yeah. it, geometry trumps all. Good times. Speaking of geometry, um, something else that's been celebrating its uh, 30th anniversary this year is Mario. Oh, yeah. Mm. And the Super Mario Maker's been doing really good. There have been a lot of, like, tons of user-created content. A lot of it is, you know, like that, you know, babby garbage nonsense. Just kind of, like, we do to find the good ones. But when you find the good ones, wow, they are simply amazing. And being able to just... I'm like, how are you guys really? You know, I'm gonna. This is gonna be like the weirdest audio when I pick all this stuff up. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I just love that song. Yes, you do. I like. I like have a little background music for the people. So, Anyways, go on. I'm sorry. Some guy created a password system in Mario Maker because when you go through the level, you start from you know your starting point and you go to the end, and there's no checkpoints in between. You basically just do the whole level in one shot, and if you fail it, start from over and go again. Well, somebody created this really interesting mechanic where, and he shows the grid map in the air, and it's all these different switches and jumps and music blocks and things, and the whole point of the level is he created all these different bosses. Like he took um, certain characters, put wings on them, put these certain situations where you have to clear these rooms. And as you clear certain parts of the rooms, eventually you get a combination that you can look at. It'd be like a fire flower, 
uh, pound block and like a star man. You go back to that main room where you start and on the floor underneath you, it has all the different items, a fire flower, a, a, you know, pound sign or a, a pound block, star man, mushroom, and you know, different power ups, uh, raccoon leaf, whatever. Yeah. And so if you want to go back, to, say you die, right? And you have to start the whole thing over again. When you come back, you remember the pattern that you have and you jump on the accordion music block and it opens the door that takes you back to that point of the checkpoint. Oh, so you nice. can just, so you don't have to keep failing over again. You just get a password. Okay. Enter the password. And I skip this part of the level and I go over to this part of the level. I'm like, that's cool. That's, that's <laughs> being clever. That, that I like seeing stuff like that from user uh, generated content uh, because it just shows how clever you know, creative can, and creative people can. Yeah, be if you give people, you give people tools. They're gonna do stuff with them that you didn't anticipate. Yeah, and that's the. <laughs> they're gonna do creation. stuff you wish you made. Yeah, I mean, like <laughs> Minecraft alone just has been built up because people just kept. You know, the code was open source. So you can just code whatever you want in there. So people create all different <laughs> sorts of mechanics. Just based on okay, well, what if I do this? What if I do this? You have all this experimentation. So, like the next wave of generation of game creators, because they've been raised on you know messing around in Java and breaking Minecraft, and now they've been able to, to take Mario and get a, a feel for two D puzzle platforming and just create their own stuff. They're gonna come up with some really amazing things because they've had to be able the chance to start early with the tools yeah. and just like here, have at it, go at it. They need to make like. Nintendo needs to make more games with this situation. They take like a Metroid creator, drop all the mechanics into a Metroid and make that. Take like a, a, a Zelda maker. Somebody has done it. Somebody, yeah, somebody yeah, has yeah. done a Zelda maker. <laughs> Goat can, simulator. It, it, won't, it won't last long because it's not official, but yeah, yeah you can huh. make a, a top-down 2D Zelda maker. The you know, they, the ability for creation isn't that strong, but you can make your overworld, and I think you can make some certain dungeon setups and place a couple of items in there. Which, yeah. like, mm-hmm. you pick this guy up, Nintendo, make it happen. Like, let's, yeah. let's, let's go. Let's there's, see what else we can do. There's a new, a new mean, program out there. If hackers can get hired by the FBI, I mean, Nintendo, you can hire some people yeah. who are making all, better right? games than you are. Now, there's a program out there that just released t- today. Right, yeah, and I want it so badly because you can easily make an RPG game or a side scroller with, and it's got the the power of this software is so much that if you know JavaScript, and I and you know for like websites JavaScript, mm-hmm. you can actually even make the game even more dynamic. And you know, it's. <laughs> It's like th- this this program you can make so many things you can make like s- a replica of any game you can possibly think of like yeah. and that, that reminds me of the dude that that redid uh uh Ocarina of Time on Unreal 4. Unreal 4. Oh my gosh. That looked amazing. I'm like I wish they would do that for the entire game. Nice. Mm-hmm. That would be amazing. And Nintendo Dude. pick him up. <laughs> it's like Nintendo pick him up. <laughs> it's like Photoshop for like video games. Like give them the tools to make it and they'll come up with some amazing things. Yeah. <laughs> Drake. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know. Oops. I don't even know. <laughs> Drake dance, <laughs> the accomplishment of 2015 in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, that tennis one was good. It's in the comp where he's they dribbling and he does the tennis and then the bowling. No, it's amazing. The lightsaber one. <laughs> yeah. The lightsaber one was pretty cool. <laughs> I know when the hotline bling. Me and uh, <laughs> me and swing, me and swing and Fowler, we were showing um. We were showing videos on the way home from work today. And Farah had never seen the meme before. I was like, oh, look at this one. And showing the lightsaber one. Like, nice. look at this one. Showing the, the pizza one. It's like they're they dying. had a Dragon Meanwhile, Ball one I had never seen before. He, oh, really? he, he pops off seven Dragon Balls out of the bag and then summons the dragon. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so, oh, my goodness. There's somewhere just screenshots. And, like, he does, like, that finger thing. Or, like, he's like has that finger in there. And it's like, hey, a mí no me gritas. Okay? Uh, <laughs> Wow. Oh man, they, they they pulled some good. That that, that mo- was a great. That moment, were- when, <gasps> that moment when you check your bank account and you find that you have more more money than you thought. <laughs> oh, dude, they they were talking about it on NPR. That's how that's how submersive it's oh, gotten. Wow. Like they were talking about NPR. Yeah. They were playing Hotline Bling on NPR. You know you hit it big when. 
it's like let, let, let's listen to some of his his lyrics and they start playing it and i was like i was singing along i was like you know what at work because i work i'll listen to to everything i'll listen to music music but when i'm driving i hit up that npr bro yeah, I do. I love that NPR. Get me some man. fresh air. Hey, you, you, you know who yourself. also went viral? John Cena. It's everywhere, and you I'm know, like, where did he come from? I don't know. It's from a, it's from from a, a radio prank. This dude, um, <laughs> his his wife like really hated wrestling, and she made him get rid of all his wrestling stuff and whatnot. Oh. And so one day he calls the radio station and says, "Hey, you know, call my wife and pretend that you guys are like you know WWE trying to promote SummerSlam and just keep calling her, try to sell her uh, SummerSlam for the event because you know John Cena was defending the belt." And so it, it, this video prank or the the prank was like a year and a half old. The, the sudden resurgence of this John Cena clip, I don't know when it happened, but I finally heard the whole five minutes. It's absolutely amazing yeah it's pretty funny <laughs> there's one time he hilarious. calls and he goes hello is champ there and she's like who he's like um champ i'm looking for champ is he here and she's like who is champ that question will be answered sunday <laughs> night when john cena defends the bell <laughs> 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 like, awesome. uh, he calls back he's like i'm watching you <laughs> excuse me that's what the Undertaker said to the champion John Cena. <laughs> 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 but can he be able to defend the kid? Oh, it, uh, they call one time and she's like, "If it's you, <laughs> WWE." Blah, blah, blah. It's like, um, excuse me, ma'am. I just want to know if you were a supporter of the of the United <laughs> States Marine Force. She's like, "Oh, oh, yes, okay." It's because I've been getting this call from these WCW guys, and, uh, and she's like, "No, we just want to know. Um, are, are you a supporter of the Marines?" She's like, "Oh, yes." Oh, that's good because we have a formally decorated marine needs your support. <laughs> and his name is John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's five minutes of pure gold, <laughs> and she oh. keeps answering the phone. And she keeps answering the phone. <laughs> she keeps that's the best part. Wow. I, it's so hilarious. Oh, like it's gosh. ridiculous what will just show up and and catch fire. Yeah, as yeah. far as me is concerned, because I mean, it was an old video, so. The resurgence, I don't know, yeah. but hey, I saw I saw one. It was oh man, it was there was a scene. You remember when SpongeBob and Patrick wrestle each other, mm-hmm. and and uh, uh, Plankton's announcing him to come out, and it's like the one, the only John Cena, and I, they jump to that. Oh, or the, <laughs> the Dragon Ball one is the best one. Okay, actually, there was the Harry Potter one where Hermione, like the, the, no. the first year, that the Hermione's sitting there, and it's like. I can fix your glasses for you. And then she fixes it. And then she goes, you're Harry Potter. Blah, 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 blah. And then she turns to Ron and he goes, she looks at him with such disdain. Disdain. That is not how that disdain. word. Disdain. Yeah. And she's just, and you are? And he's chewing on something. And he goes, oh, I'm John Cena. <laughs> do, 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 do. Wow. And it was so long. I didn't expect it. I didn't see the, it coming. The Dragon Ball Z one is really long. It's like after Goku tried to fight Cell and realized he can't beat him. And he's like, oh, you seem real cocky. He's like, like you will after I find that the guy who shows up and beats you. He's like, you're that sure of him, are you? Yeah. And he looks over in the hill. Okay, guys. I'm not strong enough to win this fight. I need somebody else to replace me. And they're all looking, looking. And then Goku fist up. And his name is Josh. <laughs> and they're all looking at him. And he's just like, Kakarot. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds oh like something God. that, that uh, <laughs> Team Four Star crew would come up with. It's, that's, it's so good. It's ridiculous. What are the good yeah. memes? Oh, speaking of Dragon Ball Z, uh, there was a new development uh, for our our Saiyan heroes. Uh, Toriyama actually got rid of that tongue twister of a name for the new Super oh, Saiyan. Oh, it didn't God make form. it. It didn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan uh, something. And now they shortened it to just Super Saiyan Blue. blue. <laughs> Super Saiyan Blue. Oh, so let's keep it so simple. Yeah. Because, like, his first explanation was like, well, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, it's just the Super Saiyan form after you've had the God power. Your hair just turns blue. Yeah. It's the only difference is your hair yeah. turns blue. So blue. I was like, well, then why is it Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan? Because he's, mm. he's not in his Super Saiyan God form and then going Super Saiyan. He's just regular Goku and then when he, or regular Vegeta... And then when they transform into Super Saiyan, their hair is just blue instead of gold. Mm-hmm. So it's like, well, 
that the name is misleading. Now, I can see if they were in God form and then went Super Saiyan, they'd be Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, but... Mm. Confusing. It's not his Super Smash Bros. Goku. Yeah. Speaking of blue hair, <laughs> Super, Smash Bro. oh. Super Smash Bros. Goku. Speaking Boy. of blue hair, I, I know this is a bit off from what we speak, but there's an artist. I'm not sure if you guys have heard her. Halsey. 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 She's it's very she's, vague. She's from the. Well, it's a. It's a. Uh, if you change the letters around, her real name's Ashley. Oh, uh, okay. But she grew up. She she would hang out a street in New York City or like Brooklyn Oprah. called Halsey. And so, like, that, that was her stage name. And I, I've been listening to her for a while when her album came out. And, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, I saw recently that she announced, like, she she kind of, like, low-key artist. And then she announced that the end of her tour was going to be in Madison Square Garden. And it sold out in 24 hours. That's okay. a lot of chairs to sell. And I was like, oh, my God, I love her. Because she has blue, but it reminded me, she has blue hair. Blue hair. Yeah. I, I'm, 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 I don't know. I'm attracted to non-general, non-natural, unnatural colored hair in women. That anime, though. <laughs> <laughs> this playground. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Like, that explains real, it. Real women make no sense You're to much me. nicer. You thought anime. I was, I was thinking clowns. <laughs> Female clowns. Mm. Uh, oh, you, you said the word sold out. Show of hands. Who's bought the I tickets did. for sure? I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't done it yet. Oh, just, oh my God. I just got no. paid today. I haven't done it I know. Dude, you got to do it. I, there's a reason I, why they started it to, I mean, when? Earlier this to, week? Yeah. <laughs> to, to promote the hype. Really? Really? I mean, Leia, two, two Leia. months in advance. I don't <laughs> know, do we, man. Do we really need to do that? Yes. I don't know. It broke pre-sale well, records. They, I guess they of bro- course it did. It's Star Wars. It's going to yeah. break pre It could break pre-sale records with the tickets sold the day they photo oh they photoshopped there was pictures you know how there was screen grabs of everything going on in back to the future <laughs> they photoshopped a star wars 7 uh on it on, on one of those uh where, where jaws 19 was supposed to be mm-hmm. they changed it to, to disney star wars uh, episode 7 i, I was like it. oh my god and then someone tweeted it was like oh my god it was that that's so crazy but i don't think that was actually it and i was like no it was jaws no, 19 it was and uh, <laughs> um god so much for um, that boycott Star Wars Seven deal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, w- watch, watch uh, Cinemark have made a mistake and pulled the switch by accident, and now that people bought it, it's like, whoops, two days to turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it on sale. <laughs> <laughs> like, Oof, are we supposed to do that? Huh? Uh, quick, I, I know quick splice for, it in the trailer real quick. Um, myself personally, I mean, I got it as soon as that trailer was over. My wife's like, we don't got any money in the account. We do now. <laughs> <laughs> this money will show up. <laughs> so, River, I know this was for your college, but yeah. so oh, who was that? Now, right? College fund, like I don't know how many times we were, you know. So, who, who wanted to to actually Back take a, a lightsaber or a blaster to the theater? Everyone. Well, yeah. Well, well now I you see can. a lightsaber right there. I see a lightsaber right there. That's right. <laughs> I was like, well, now you can't take it. <laughs> 20, no, you 2015, can't. man. Times are hard. Times Cinemark are hard. has banned lightsabers, blasters, masks, masks and face paint. So you, you won't mm-hmm. see stormtroopers. You won't see Darth Vader. Well, you w- you could because they could have their mask off. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't want to see helmetless. Uh, yeah. We don't want to see helmetless Darth Vader. Okay, and then Mumble suggested, oh, why don't they just check their IDs? And I was like, or like, what are they going to do? Like, remember each ID? And then he was like, what if they just scan it and, like, keep record? I was like, no, that's it's, that, it's the, that the problem privacy. Is it takes too long to scan it take each way individual. Too long. Okay, well, what you got on you? Okay, you're clear. Next. What you got on you? Next. What you got yeah. on you? It's easier to just say, no, you can't come in than to check everybody. Sucks. 2015 sucks. 2015 yeah. sucks. Well, I mean, not so much 2015. The people th- living thanks a lot, in 2015 quote, yeah. Thanks suck. a lot, quote, unquote, the Joker with orange hair. Yeah. Oh sure. yeah, that. But seriously though, if it avoids something like that, I, I'm all for it. Honestly, I, as much as I would want to, I've never, I've never cosplayed for for a premiere or anything. But I would have for this one. I, I, I remember would've. cosplaying for episode three when it came out when I was in high school. I uh, cosplayed for uh, Batman: The Dark Knight. I Dark Knight it was. and also yeah. Iron Man three. And for Iron Man three. Um, and all, did... for for the Dark Knight, I just grew a mustache and had fake glasses. I just had I, an I, idea. I did that Nick Fury. Yeah, I was Commissioner Gordon, yeah. yeah. I'm going to cosplay for the new James Bond movie, and I'm just going to wear a suit. Suit and tie. Okay. And technically, I'll be cosplaying. That's what I did. When, <laughs> when, for, when, as when does a... Spectre come out? I want to go see that. Mm. Well, I, you know what? Now, I, now I'm not so sure if I want to go see Spectre. Oh. 
You know, because mm, my I, arms I, now are raising. I, now I've got now I've got beef with Daniel Craig. I thought Daniel Craig was a pretty cool guy. Oh, but now we uh, didn't talk. We didn't talk about that. We didn't that talk about this. But this, about this. He had a, He had an article come out um, in a British t- uh, magazine. I forget the name of the magazine, but where he where he mentions he'd rather slash his wrist than do another Bond movie. Now, if you just if that's all you took out of that article, then I mean it's it's a little overstated. But I mean I get it. I guess making movies makes people tired and whatnot. But one of the things that caught my eye in that article was that he was tired of of having to be physically fit. Oh, Hugh well, I mean, that's the why same way. Jackman's dropping out of the Wolverine game because it's it's hard trying to keep up that life and then still. Try to do so many other things when you've got to devote so much time to keeping that body in pristine yeah. order. Hugh, Hugh Jackman said that he'd do another Wolverine if he could be part of the, um, like, if he could go along with the MCU and punch Captain America in the face. <laughs> in, in which case, he'd be all for oh, it. Oh, come on, Marvel. Make that happen. I want to see. Hugh Jackman's like, I'll I do it. See Chris but only Evans for that. that that's his condition. Hugh Jackman yeah, in the right. face. Okay. No, I, but that, that annoyed me. For one thing, um, it annoys me because that's actually part of his job. I mean, as an actor, uh, there are certain things that you uh, need to do to uh, portray a character. And for someone like this new James Bond, granted, uh, uh, Sean Connery and um, uh, what's his name, uh, Pierce, Brosnan, Pierce Brosnan, they weren't, Timothy they Dalton. weren't as nearly as ripped as Daniel Craig was. And that's what he wanted. He wanted to just be himself. He didn't want to have to be the show body. But that's the times that we're living in. You know, body appearance matters in a movie. <laughs> it means everything. Yeah, it means everything in a movie. I mean, you don't you don't see any fat Bond girls, you know. I mean, you don't see... But they don't not, have the same that, Bond girl in every single movie. Yeah, you know, Wait, so... You mean P-H-A-T? No, I mean um, uh, plus size. You don't see plus size uh, Bond girls or anything like that. Pretty hot and tempting. Yeah, and so I was like, oh, I, I, I'm just, I was, I, that really flipped me off uh, because I'm like, I can't just go to work and say, you know what, I'm tired of wearing my pants to work. You know, uh, the, I just want to come in. Pantless. Well, well, think of it this way: like if you go to work and you get a you get a dress a certain way, just slacks and and a button shirt, and then they tell you, okay, we're gonna give you this, we're gonna send you off to this thing, and for an extended period of time, you're gonna have to wear a complete three piece suit and tie that you don't like to wear that that takes a lot of maintenance to do. It's kind of his situation right now, actually. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of. No, his situation. I know, but like for an ex- like, do you like it? Like. I actually, uh, if if it was if I was Daniel Craig and I looked like that, I would be like, man, they're paying me to keep my body looking this good. This, I mean, he's like nearly fifty, and the guy looks incredible. Yeah, you know, he looks better than all of us. I yeah, <laughs> no. he looks better than ninety nine percent of the people on the planet. Yeah. You know, uh, and the new Bond girl, uh, what's her name, uh, Bella I, Bella I, I do be- I do believe that ninety nine percent of Bellucci? Hollywood. John Bellucci's the new yeah, Bond girl. Yeah, John, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Someone she Photoshop is, that if you can. She's fifty years old, and Wait, she looks amazing. That's um the the Merovingian's wife. Yes. From uh the Matrix. Yes. She's yes. the new Bond. She's oh, the new Bond girl. Uh, she is gorgeous. The Frenchman's wife. We have to go see Spectre. The Frenchman's wife. I'm yeah. gonna go see it. I'm gonna go see uh, it. Like, we have to go okay. see Spectre. Okay. Just, just because the same thing. Um, the actress. Um. Uh, Natalie Dormer for Natalie. Yeah. Pronounce it right. Natalie Natalie Dormer. Natalie. Natalie. She said the same thing. She's like, I prefer, you know, being in the dungeon scenes because I don't have to worry about makeup. I don't have to worry about looking like anything. You know what? Honestly, though, if they were to do a a gender bend, uh, James Bond, I'd I'd want her to be it. A lot of people that that's come up. Natalie Dormer as as the the female James Bond because it's supposed to be a title, not a specific person. Yeah, and so they said, why not make it a female, like female 007? I would I would go. I'd be down for that. Or if they wanted it, Elba as 007. Yes. Oh man, I I want Idris Elba to do a lot of things. I love that man so much. (laughs) It's like Idris Elba. Idris Elba as a straight. I'd ask you why you're Idris Elba for Green Lantern. Like I can already see the intro. I can already see the intro where 
she would like this female bond would just walk sideways towards the middle of the screen, point to the point to to the screen and shoot, and all the silhouettes are just guys. <laughs> no, no, the, the, <laughs> no, the, the 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 screen does the shake back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then zoom into her midsection, and then zoom back out into. <laughs> it just, but yeah, Idris Elba with her or Idris Elba, but people were saying he's not British enough, which is stupid. They're just saying he's black. Yeah, they don't like it because, which is ridiculous. Which is the, still the same problem people are having with John Boyega. <laughs> You know, well, that was the stuff. whole that was the whole boycott Star Wars yeah. Seven issue was a bunch of white supremacists were like, "Oh, we have a black lead male character. Let's not go see Star Wars." Yeah, that didn't work out too well because apparently, like Professor Levi said, it broke pre sales, yeah. you know, records, like without any question. The, the new trailer had twenty nine million views on YouTube before the end of the night. Yeah, Sadly, I was not one of them because the I didn't day. know the trailer was uh, gonna have. Tickets now available at the end. I watched I watched the trailer at least three or four times that night. Okay, wow. I saw a tweet that said, um, I can't believe so many people are going to watch football and not care about the football. They're going to have so many so many people watching the game who don't actually care about the game. Yeah, and it's true. Yeah. I had the game on just waiting for the commercials. Yeah, <laughs> because you just watch Super Bowl for the commercials. It's all yeah. about the commercials. It's like, let me record this and just fast forward through the game. Like, like Budweiser... Dude, just this year, bring back Bud Bowl, you win. Yeah. You win, because Bud Bowl is the best. And I I really love the Super Bowl commercials, because there's... Most of the Super Bowl commercials I've seen are great. They're hilarious. The um, That one, the order in one. Oh, yeah. Old Spice. Old Spice, yes. Man. Oh, my Dude, God. Dude, Old Spice commercials now are just amazing. Yeah. Yes. My favorite... <laughs> What? Now you got the two guys competing. Yeah. My second. I'm so glad. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that one was great. Yeah. You. My... Yes, me. Bubach. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bear glove. <laughs> the the one with the downy where it started as a downy commercial. I, that one got me. It got Ooh. me. It was worse than like when John Bear Cena's glove. meme started coming out. Oh, it's too powerful to stay in its own commercial. <laughs> <laughs> you smell my, like flowers. My second favorite is the the lions from the Taco Bell commercial. It's all like, oh, they're they're having car- carne asada. It's all like, oh yeah, so, uh, carne asada. Uh, carne, carne asada. No. No, no, carne. carne. You got you got to. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, and that's because I I hate watching commercials. I fast forward through when I can on on demand, and but, I got Netflix because I don't want to watch, you know, commercials. Yeah. And stuff, but the quality is, I want to say, a hundred times better. Yeah. Than the, and you know world. what? That ties back to our problem with 2015 sucking. Do you remember the Super Bowl commercials that came out this past year? No. No. They're too busy trying to teach me something. I'm like, (laughs) come on, man. Because this is the state of the world we live in. The Super Bowl commercial didn't tell you to raise your kids, be with your family, da-da-da-da, be a good dad, da-da-da-da. I'm like, where's the funny stuff, man? Yeah, I know. Come on now. I mean, I remember we were in your father's house. Yeah. And we were all there watching the, the the Super Bowl, looking at the commercials, and just being bummed. Silence. Cause like, okay, there. Oh, look at that moral lesson. Oh, look at that other moral lesson. Is this what it is now? Because we know people are watching. Let's teach them the moral lessons now. What they're watching. I want to see fat people falling down. <laughs> <laughs> or something. I want to see pigeons try to poop on cars. I don't know something. <laughs> The Windex commercials with the birds, those were good. Yeah, those they are They weren't great. Super Bowl commercials, but they were good commercials. Yeah, they were pretty good commercials. <laughs> I still think that the the phone anti-theft one was probably one of the funniest, where he's like, my phone has anti-theft, and they're the two dudes in the locker, and he tries to take it from him, so he throws him and hits him in the head. <laughs> 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 that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Awesome. So, um, Marty and Doc Brown... We'll just, we'll just say that somehow they caused an alternate 2015 where everything is garbage. They, they ruined it. By taking Biff out, I, I, that's my personal theory. They ruined 2015. No, mm-hmm. I mean, not that I'm hating on them or anything for it. But right, because they, those they movies altered still great. The, yeah. They altered our timeline. They did. They altered our future. The time-space continuum is forever damaged. <laughs> yeah. You know, it might have been that because we had aspirations to make flying cars and hoverboards and everything and then we saw it exist in the movie they didn't care to make it anymore because it's like oh it's gonna be realized someday and then no one actually does it 
And then somebody that, invited, that's what happened. And then somebody invented a smartphone, and then selfies happened. Yeah. And yep, they're right. T- t- technology has, has hampered us. As Doc Brown said, the evolutionary chain has stopped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, and then you know where it stopped? Friendster. Friendster turned to MySpace, turned to Facebook, turns to Instagram, turns to Snapchat, turns to Vine, turns to all these different things, and social networking destroyed us. Yeah. And yet people. But are, it, it brought us together hate people and more ruined than us. Ever. Yeah. People hate each other more than ever. But they won't dare say it because I'll hit that like button every time they find that funny cat picture. It's like, somebody else must have shared it. I hate this guy. Like, like. <laughs> oh, this guy really added to me. Like, like. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag LOL, love it. <laughs> Dude, Facebook really is like messing up with my, my uh, friend, with one, with one of my friends, because he's actively trying to date somebody, trying to get married, marry somebody. Everything and, that's online is forever. Yeah, n- no, 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 not that, not that. Uh, because he's cool. The, nobody's out there trying to make him look better or anything. But when he meets somebody and that somebody has Facebook, and he's like, all right, well, let's be friends, right? At first, uh, we'll be friends. And then he just scrolls through all of that. No, 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 no. Not that and not anything else what you guys may be thinking. Oh. His friends. Oh, God. His other guy friends find out that he added this one girl. They all storm her. The barrage, her. yeah. Oh, God. The barrage. They all storm the, her. That's the the and, guy code is if the guys don't appreciate the lady coming in we don't want her here because he's gonna take her away from us that's how that works and so the, the it's like it's the the girls do it too if a girl comes in with a new guy the girls will swarm the guy like the hive mind we must protect the family we must protect this house <laughs> and so like if they, the don't like, if they don't like you they'll cut you out and little little known fact guys who are that close circle they'll do the same thing uh. they will cut you out or they will try to cut her out Wow, it's a good thing you guys didn't do that. Exactly. <laughs> Probably because no. maybe, I don't know, maybe you didn't give us a chance to because you're always going across yeah. the border. That's I don't true. know. Could have been. No, the border, <laughs> the border and, was, and, a, and it was a wall. In an alternate reality, Literally. you got she got cut out and you're playing Destiny with us? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you have, you have <laughs> both anyway. an Xbox no. and a PlayStation. And so, and so what he's trying to do, he's trying to figure out these settings where, where only a specific few can actually see his activity and his friends list. Because, man, the, these guys will actually... Th- these guys are... They're not really his friends. I wouldn't call them or consider them his friends because they're wolves. Because <laughs> they're, all, they're always trying... Because they're actively trying to date a girl, too. Right. But for the wrong reasons. Mm. So they find this girl. Ooh, she's cute. So they go after her. Yeah, that's Smearing her also, away from him. So he already is in, and the guys are working on the on the block for their I'm own game. Getting, like, okay, game on. Yeah. Wow. This, yeah, is, the, this is why I, this I like isn't Snapchat. Tr- this isn't them trying to protect the house. This is them, you trying know, trying to take the house. Trying to take the house. Yeah. Wow. So nice. that's what I mean. Yeah. This is why. This is why I have Snapchat because it no one knows who like I'm following there or anything like that. So. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a lot more private. It it's easier to have conversations, and uh, not not everything's as permanent there. But it, I mean, everything is permanent on the internet, but yeah. it's not as permanent. So that's good. That I mean, my big three are Instagram, Snapchat, and as of recently, Facebook. I mean, not Facebook. Um, Twitter. Twitter. Uh-huh. Twitter. And if anyone wants to follow me, it's fbc underscore leviathan. Just throwing oh. that out there. Oh, wow. Done stuff on Twitter. I know. <laughs> I done. And Huzzah. FBC, in honor of my good friend Fyro here, hey. I did Frozen Box Comics. Represent? FBC. <laughs> Yay. Uh, well, um... Oh, real quick, oh. Uh, more Back to the Future related. Uh, Leviathan is scrolling through Frittles... PS4 stuff because uh, Fertiles had to go make sure that Sack of Fertiles goes to sleep. And I forgot to mention that uh, Rocket League added the DeLorean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude. And it looks awesome. Talk about leaving fire behind you. And like, yeah, and like, like Rocket League, once you hit the cert- certain boost, the front comes up and the neons come up and, the, and you get the fire streak. When you catch air, the tires fold up and it goes into flight mode. Nice. It's pretty cool. It's like a it's like a dollar ninety nine for the car. I say it's worth it. 
Yeah, totally worth it. Like totally I don't even play Rocket it. League that much, and I might just buy the car. The future is now. Buy the car. Great Scott, the time continuum has been disrupted as of October 21st, 2015. Ugh. Celebrate one of the most anticipated days of the last 30 years in Rocket League with the official Back to the Future DeLorean time machine. That's a best time machine that don't waste time machine. another minute get yours today <laughs> like i was watching the, um a, the documentary on the making of back to the future where they have all the different actors and then uh, robert Zemeckis and steven spielberg and uh bob doyle and well, not bob doyle bob fogel doyle and they're talking about all the different concepts how they want to do the time travel the mechanics of the movie and they're just like we don't want to have some extended long time travel scene. Like time travel just be instantaneous. Yeah. So like, you know, you drive, you hit the thing and then bam, you're there. But at the same time, you want to have some cool stuff going around it as well. So they no time tunnel? out the, the hmm? no time tunnel then? No, no time tunnel. So uh. they, they figured out like they just wanted, okay, you're driving, you hit the eight mile, 88 miles an hour and then bam. Cause like, you know, just all of a sudden you're just in there because technically like, like other time travel movies that did the the long minute long time tunnel crazy effects thing whatever and for the spirit of the movie because the spirit of the movie is more like the kind of coming of age the generation gap finding yourself real like you know understanding your parents and all that kind of stuff whatnot on the like, different morals and how things work around and being able to shape your future the time travel is just a means to getting to that end so let's not focus on that part but at the same time let's do some cool crazy effect thing yeah and the car is awesome. They had three cars for the movie. One car was the effects car, which you see all the you know the close ups and the different pieces. One car was the uh, the stunt car, the one you never see a close up, like Marty crashes through the the farm right. building, or Marty's driving high speed down the road, or he crashes into the um the movie theater at the end. The third car was a car that they cut into pieces. And so whenever they needed a close-up shot, like if they're in the car, they're showing a side shot of Marty driving while he's shifting, that's actually just a section of the okay. car. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and uh, Michael J. Fox said he hated that car because as he's trying to drive in, the gearbox is so small, so close up. So you see the parts where Ed, towards the end of the movie, he's trying to jump to the 88 going down the street, heading towards the clock tower, and he's power shifting in the gear. He would shift his hands and it hit his hand on the dashboard because it was so close. He's like, I cut my hands up so much filming those scenes of the movie. He's like, I hate that car. <laughs> I was like, oh, Brutal. that's terrible. And um, the original actor for Marty McFly, Eric Schultz, he's actually still in the movie at certain points, if you can find him. Because they, um, they, they filmed Back to the Future with him as Marty McFly for like five weeks. Because That's a lot of film. At the time, Michael J. Fox was really into filming Family Ties, which is you know, the, the show on ABC. And they yeah, did a lot of daytime filming. And so uh, Robert Zemeckis in the game were like, we really want to have uh, Michael J. Fox play this character because he's going to fit the role perfect. And the people who were working on Family Ties were like, no, we, we need to have him here. We can't commit to this, the schedule. So they got Eric Schultz. And then at the Wait, time, Michael, Eric Schultz? Eric Schultz is, uh, for the life of me, I can't remember, probably because he's not Marty McFly. <laughs> so, yeah. He's the ex-Marty. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's not that he didn't Big come Fly. out in other stuff, but I mean, it would have been that breakout role if he had landed Back to the Future, but he didn't. Yeah. It was he was his character was actually Martin McFly. Like after <laughs> after filming it for five weeks, uh, Zemeckis and Spielberg came to an agreement that like Schultz is not bad, but he's still not getting the timing he's that not they want it. because Back to the Future is a funny movie, not because of the joke telling, but by, by the reaction to how Marty reacts to everything. He's a very reactive character. So you see him in Doc, situations yeah. like his, Are you his, telling his me always, like the expression that, that this one, thing is nuclear? Like yeah, like uh, the, the one part where they're sitting at family dinner and uh, Lorraine's talking about how Mike Marty can stay the night and she reaches and grabs his arm and he hops around like I gotta go, I gotta go. And that whole dynamic and feel when he first lands in the barn and his head pops up and he's looking around like, What's going on? What's going on? Michael J. Fox is really good at that reactive comedy. Do you think yeah. that reactive comedy was actually just his Parkinson's? Early on. Oh, <laughs> I'm dude. a bad person. I'm a bad person. You're, you're, you're a horrible human being. Geez. You're the kind of human being that we need to go back in time and fix. Yeah. <laughs> hey, McFly. Dude, I would totally bully McFly. I'm not going to lie. Because back then, like, if you were big, you could bully. And right now, I was big, but I couldn't bully. And so, yeah, I, I probably would be a bully. I'm a bully now. You, Ask, you Fyro. Are. Ask Fyro. You are a bully. But I'm a lovable bully. I'm you not are a quite bad huggable. bully. <laughs> I'm a lovable, huggable. I want him over. It took me a little bit, but I want him over with my bullying. Terrible. I want a lot of people over with my bullying. No, you don't. 
<laughs> just, just so you know, no, you don't. You haven't won me over with your bullying. No, I, I've won you over though, but not with the bullying. No, I, that the different you, you, strokes you, for different you, folks. You've, you've won my tolerance. That's <laughs> what I put it that way. <laughs> well, so here we are in this room doing the podcast, and somebody's playing the game. Have we not learned our lesson? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have not. Hey, no, I'm contributing. But see, it's not Battlefront. It's not Battlefront. It's not Battlefront. <laughs> it's no. more, it's like, he's playing Rocket League right it's now. And still... it's, it's it's more of a casual feel. And we yeah. know what's going on with Rocket League if we've played it, so we're not really focusing on that. We're still having our cash car conversation. Right. Cash cop. Cash um, a... um, Marty McFly, McFly, eventually Michael J. Fox, they came to an agreement and he was able to go back and they let him reshoot all five weeks and now he's got that role character. And that's what made Michael J. Fox Michael the way J. he Fox. is. And I feel bad that he's got Parkinson's. Hopefully sometime in the future they'll get they'll find a cure for Parkinson's disease because I hate to see that you know, one one of the one of the, the greats come down like that. But it is what it is. But hopefully twenty sixteen we'll have something better than twenty fifteen because twenty fifteen sucks. The Renaissance yeah. There is actually a, a uh, and I hate, I, I, I love and I hate that people have this much time. There was someone who, on Tumblr who was saying that they, they, they checked it all out. They realized the amount of memes, the percentage of memes compared to other years was very low. The amount of memes that we did this year. And some of them were like rehashed memes, but for the most part, there was not that many original memes. And it's because we just, we, we haven't been able to, it's not that good of a it's, year. It's the phrase, nothing is, nothing new under the sun. Yeah. <laughs> if you got nothing going on, you got nothing going on to make a reaction to. The best you got is Back to the Future Day, and now that's past us. That is behind us. So go out and buy your new 30th anniversary collection of the DVD. It comes in the box that has the flux capacitor on it. It comes with the animated series, all 26 episodes of it, and Back to the Future is 1, 2, 3 in HD. A documentary thing and some other stuff. <laughs> Hey, and I, 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I thought I was good with fun. Ta- I plan on I plan on, on buying that DVD collection sometime before the end of the year because I love those movies. And if I had them, I would watch them all the time as much as I, I watch the ocean. I have trilogies. the DVDs. I have all three movies and a and a bonus disc. You keep mm. needing to bring that to work. And I you never bring that to work. I, I need to watch to. that to work. You know, I have actually the um, Tron Legacy. I'm not sure if it's like the 20th anniversary edition or something like that. But I have it, and it's so much fun. Isn't there a third movie coming out for that thing? The third one, they're working on it. It's Did I say Legacy? I meant the original Tron. In 20, I think, 18? Uh, 2018. So we got a couple of years to wait. Well, Plenty of movies that come, will come out in between then. Which we'll talk about on another cast, because we're starting cast. to run a little long. Yes, so, sir. let us end this. This evening. Yes, the, Don't forget. Not only, not only is Back to the Future behind us. But so is so this podcast. Is podcast. <laughs> so, again, if you have any questions and comments, feel free to hit us up on our Twitter at CoolerCast and feel free to drop us an email at CoolerCast at gmail.com. Again, that is CoolerCast at gmail.com. For the father of riddles who is taking care of little sack of riddles, this is GLUX247. This is Professor Leviathan. You can find me on Instagram as Professor Devi or on Twitter as FBC Leviathan. And this is Fyro, where you can find me at Frozen Box Comics on, uh, uh, on Twitter and on Facebook. And uh, you can also go to FrozenBoxComics.com to keep up with the webcomic by Morphin, which is updated weekly. And uh, as for the book, it's getting work done. I'm still waiting on Kickstarter, so the, you know if they can hurry it up, I can make that book already. And you're always so, waiting on people for a lot of stuff. Always waiting on and people! And you know what? I'd like to thank our fifth member of the cast, too, because we didn't have a mic for him. He didn't say anything, but it was the one, the oh, only, no. John Cena! Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And That's as terrible. usual, everybody. Let's end this. We'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Until then, keep it cool. And as always, stay, stay frosty. frosty. Have a good night, everybody.